Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Uh, depending on uh, where you're tuning in from now today, it's great to have you with us. Uh, Jeremy, Edward, and Ilya here, and uh, we've got some exciting announcements today. We're joined by Alex, our CTO and the architect of the DCO platform. Uh, we also have uh, Joel and Nazar with us today from the very first DCO project that we will be launching. So some great information for everybody and uh, we're excited. So uh, guys, you can join us live at daisycrowd.com. If you're inviting some folks, they can uh, use the uh, translation interpretation services at daisycrowd.com. Uh, simply click on the interpretation link and then choose your language. Uh, we are broadcasting in 10 different languages here today. Uh, you can also join us live through the Daisy YouTube channel as well. So uh, some great things happening, guys. Congratulations to all of you that were able to participate in the uh, Daisy token pre-sale. And we're really excited to today be announcing uh, the official first DCO project. And I'm pumped about this project, guys. This is, uh, this is exciting. Joel, you and I and Alex got to share together a little bit at the uh, digital summit. Uh, we were uh, part of a forum together. And uh, of course, you know, what you guys uh, uh, have done already with MetaMask and so many other projects uh, leading up to this moment is just incredible. So it's really an honor to be working with you. And thanks for being on this call here today. Of course, you guys know Alex. Uh, Alex and his team have uh, built the entire smart contract infrastructure for uh, Daisy, as well as the DCO platform. So Alex has some really incredible updates today uh, with us as well. One of the partners of the Daisy DCO platform. And uh, it's great to be here with you. So a lot of big things are happening. Uh, we've got our Dubai leadership event happening the 23rd through the 26th in Dubai. Uh, all of the uh, pay setter goals and pay setter leaders have been invited to that event. Uh, we have around 200 top leaders that will be joining us there for those couple of days and really, really big announcements lined up. Uh, let me tell you, you definitely want to uh, get plugged in because after the Dubai event, we will be uh, releasing those announcements live to the community and you don't wanna wait. Uh, those, those announcements are gonna take everything to the next level. And uh, we've got a lot of excitement. Dr. Anna Becker will be there with us uh, from Endotech and uh, our uh, legal team and many of our advisors will be with us as well. So it's going to just be an incredible uh, weekend event for the leadership team uh, in DAISY. So congratulations to all of you that have achieved uh, Paysetter Gold and Paysetter Leader. And we're really looking forward to uh, meeting many of you for the first time face to face at that Dubai event. So big announcements coming, big momentum coming, and we're excited. So uh, guys, uh, super, super things are happening. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to throw the call over right now to uh, one of the co-founders, uh, Ilya, who really has uh, just grabbed a hold of the vision of the DCO Launchpad and really is in the trenches uh, on, a, on a daily basis with many of the projects and the things that are happening behind the scenes. And uh, really, really thankful for uh, what he has brought to the table as one of the founders of Daisy and one of the partners. And uh, Ilya, Edward, Edward, I know that you were in California, just got back last night as well. So uh, uh, good to see you back home and, and settled in. So guys, I'll throw it over to you to, uh, and uh, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's knock it out of the ballpark today. Um, but great to be here with everybody. And again, congratulations, uh, Daisy community. And we've got some really, really big things that are that are coming in the next few weeks. So stay tuned. Jeremy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm also very, very pumped up before the before our event in Dubai. So it's going to be a couple of weeks from now. Uh, we we've been working around the clock, right, to make it happen. So on a daily basis, we do a lot of calls, a lot of you know connections to make it happen. It's not so easy, as you know. It's our first event. Uh, we are pretty sure that we'll make many, many events like this in the future, but now it's the first one. And like Jeremy said, we'll have a lot of announcements and we are so excited. It's not just one, it's not just two, it's many. And they, they will all be during the yeah, just couple of days, like 21st, 20, 25th especially. So for those of you who will uh, join us in Dubai, 
uh, we look forward to meet you. For those of you who cannot uh, make it uh, this time, so you will be able to, of course, uh, get all those uh, updates and uh, releases uh, probably directly from Dubai, right? So we'll be sharing a lot of information. So I'm very thrilled that uh, we have uh, Joel uh, with us and his team. So we will be, uh, I will be introducing the team a little bit later. But now, first of all, uh, we would like to give us uh, to give you some updates on the DCO platform because we've been silent, quiet. We didn't do Zoom for for a while probably, but many many things have been happening uh, behind the scenes. Uh, uh, we, as you guys know, so we uh, pre-sold the token back in July. Uh, we listed uh, our token on a few exchanges, uh, so we did already some some uh, small uh, like PR uh, stuff, right? So we we do some uh, stuff on the Telegram uh, channels, uh, on uh, Twitter. I hope that all of you are plugged and all of you follow uh, what's happening uh, in our community, in Daisy community. And we've been talking with many teams. We've been talking with many people uh, who want to join uh, our platform as a project, right? So we call uh, those projects uh, DCO, which stands for Decentralized Crowd Offering, right? So we're going to do together many, many exciting things. Uh, and uh, finally, next month, we will be uh, starting with our platform. It takes some time. It, does, it doesn't happen over, overnight. And uh, I know how Alex and his team is busy. Literally, he doesn't have time to sleep because uh, you know he he takes charge and responsibility uh, for a tech side of the project. And uh, Alex, uh, my friend, I would like to throw it to you. Uh, and uh, maybe together, maybe you will start, and then we, we will together give them some updates on what is happening behind the scenes, what's happening with the DCO platform. It's very important for people to understand exactly what is happening and what uh, and when uh, people will be able to uh get delivered right because we promise many things so now it's time to deliver yep yep um to chat about it let me share our presentation that uh, we sure. have crafted together and uh, this addresses all of the popular questions here we go um and it's here can you see my screen yes absolutely uh, perfect. So, uh, well, uh, we mentioned it a couple of times. Uh, we still need to announce our reward plan. Uh, we have finalized it, right? But we don't want to spoil today's uh, beautiful uh, first project event with uh, all of uh, this uh, rewards plan uh, related information. We want to make this uh, something special. We want to have a special day which would be on uh, September 25th, which is a Dubai event, uh, when we are really gonna dive in a lot of details in regards to reward plan, um, launching new white paper version, uh, really, really, really detailed this time. So there, there's that. Uh, I guess see, see you there, uh, see you there online or physically, uh, it, it would be amazing. No. So Alex, what, um, what probably, Alex, so, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. So what we probably just want to make sure that on DCO platform we will have some incentive program, right? So when people uh, like refer their friends or family, right? So they can get paid, and we will be releasing some details of that uh, of that uh, plan, right? So this is what we're talking about, and uh, because many people, you know, they still don't. Uh, maybe they underestimate this component of our platform, which is quite big because we have many marketers in our community. We have many people who love to share information about nice projects because we will be selecting best of the best projects in the market and you know uh, put it on the platform. Yeah, well, Daisy in itself, it lies strictly in its community, in its West and international community. And we get... Uh, how we can make this exciting. We uh, get that it's all about building this team uh, around you. And uh, uh, believe us, we would work uh, on making it exciting for you also. So it's not just going to be, well, send something and get nothing. Uh, it's going to be quite unique and huge. Um, all right. Uh, the next one. Uh, which I'm not going to talk about at all, mostly. I'm just going to show you the date and uh, give all of the beautiful marketing information to Joe and his team. Uh, we're going to have our first uh, DCO 
launch on uh, October 19th, yeah. you would hear a lot about what is going to be today. Uh, we are incredibly excited about it. Uh, actually, we wanted to strike a huge deal to buy an uh, infinite uh, amount of these uh, DCO tokens ourselves, mm -hmm. but we were uh, denied because uh, there is a need um, to share everything uh, with the community. And uh, that's it for me. I'm shutting up about uh, first DCO. Uh, perhaps Ilya has something to add. All right. So now, now we finally release a date. So Alex, we uh, I, I think it's very important, right? It's important. It's a important benchmark for Daisy for Daisy platform for Daisy communities. Now, guys, it's officially we are launching Daisy DCO platform on October 19th. Please save the date. Remember this date. It's going to be uh, a lot of noise, a lot of excitement. And after this, of course, we will just you know continue uh, roll up and you know continue to bring. Uh, many nice projects uh, in the future. But now, of course, today, uh, the topic for today is uh, uh, our first project, which we'll be introducing later on. Right? So, Alex, please uh, continue with the next slide. Let's go. Um, so, in regards to staking, uh, staking, you want to launch somewhere October. It's uh, either uh, together with the platform, which is like the most perfect case, or uh, a bit uh, later. Uh, but uh, it's 100% uh, within October, right? We, we do really need it. Uh, we just creating a staking with a lot uh, of logic that has a lot of um, peer-to-peer -peer components there also. And uh, the thing must go through an audit because we must make sure that it uh, works uh, beautifully. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Also, Alex, fine. I'm uh, I'm I'm personally looking forward, uh, you know, uh, uh, to to the staking program to be released. Also, because this is, this is probably one of the most common questions that we get from our community because people want to stake Daisy token. We've been talking about staking so many times, right? Specifically yourself, right? You presented this many times. Uh, so uh, I think it's also it's an important milestone uh, for our community. So we will start with staking and. Uh, we can promise that uh, staking DAISY token will make a lot of uh, uh, sense, uh, will make a lot of economical sense, and uh, we will be releasing more information related to staking uh, later on, of course. But finally, Alex, uh, thank you so much. We look forward. It's next month uh, for this program to start. Yep, uh, we've been uh, fighting with Ilya about staking uh, nearly uh, each day. So I wake up um, I see Elias message, he asks uh, where the hell is staking, uh, right? So it's going to be there, I promise. Uh, I, I fear that uh, Ilya right now is in Russia because he's trying to get uh, real close to me. Uh, so he <laughs> can tell, tell me to release staking right now directly. Uh, all right. Uh, the next one, the next biggie is uh, audit. Um, we are going to have the audit in early November. Uh, audit takes time, uh, and we want to take this time. Um, we, we're going to do a multiple phases of an audit, of course. When we really staking, uh, we'll make sure that it's an audited piece of code. Um, after that, we're going to slowly go over each and every component of a platform, thoroughly audit it make sure that everything is perfect. Uh, we are currently uh, planning to work with uh, multiple auditing companies. So we are taking it uh, really, really seriously because we understand uh, that it's a no job. It's really important, really important to get there, get there beautifully without um, any security uh, related problems. Um, okay. This is the second uh, favorite question that I get from uh, everyone, breach. Um, we, we're going to get the breach soon, right? Uh, Mid-November uh, is probably the, the latest uh, where, when I want to have it, right? I mean, I, I understand the argument that it makes a lot of sense to create a breach right now, uh, but uh, we just really want to focus on building the platform and everything uh, that we can. And uh, once we finished with that, 
once we have defended ourselves with the, uh, from the rigorous auditor, we'll be able to just uh, sit down a bit, breathe, do a breach, enjoy this breach, right? And it's, uh, it's just going to be a first breach. We actually intend to do multiple ones later down the line. Um, so that, there's that. Please, uh, please wait a bit. Uh, I, I am really sorry. Uh, but it's just about uh, it's just about priorities. We're we're gonna get there. Yeah, Alex, it's okay. We understand you have a lot of things to do, so you cannot do everything at the, at the same time together with your team. Uh, just for those people who don't understand, uh, when we uh, refer to breach, so what we mean is a breach from uh, Tron blockchain into Ethereum blockchain, right? So because currently, uh, most of our community, I would say, the ninety nine percent of people, they are uh, on a Tron blockchain. Uh, because we started from Tron. So basically they have DAISY tokens on uh, Tron link uh, or still on a smart contract, unclaimed tokens, right? And uh, once we uh, complete this bridge, uh, you complete this bridge, Alex, right? So they will be able to uh, basically uh, move uh, their tokens from one blockchain to another, right? So I just wanted to make sure that everybody understands what you talk about. Okay. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Everything this guy said. Um, <laughs> all right, now, now. Uh, I think I'm going to pass the mic to Ilya because that's uh, his thing. He, he is going to crush the business components and it's, it's all yours. Hey, yeah, Alec, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we've been also working around the clock because we, we are listed on few exchanges, but this is just a start. We promise that we'll be listed on multiple exchanges. This is exactly what we are working on right now, but it doesn't happen in one day because all of those exchanges, they have some requirements. It takes some time. They fully, you know, it's very hot season now in crypto space so you need to book your 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 your, your basically your spot your your place a few weeks in advance or something right so it takes time uh, but we are uh, in negotiation with uh, with uh, multiple exchanges we're talking about centralized exchanges uh, due to the nature of business we cannot release the names of those exchanges but we are talking about exchange that every most of people they know right so it's uh, it's a uh, uh, it's uh, uh, it's all exchanges with good name uh, uh, known in crypto space right so what we're gonna do is next couple months we will be listing on uh, at least one or maybe even two or three centralized exchanges and of course once we are listed we will make announcements and uh, everybody will be able to buy or sell their tokens. Uh, on those exchanges as well. So this will help people from, uh, you know, from different countries. Uh, some people, they prefer this particular exchange. Maybe other people prefer another exchange. You know, some exchanges do, are not available, for example, in Japan, uh, like the one that we started from, right? But other exchanges uh, will allow Japanese customers, right, to buy DAISY token on, uh, in, in the open market, which is very, very important for us. So new listings are coming. Please be patient. Uh, October and November is the time for them to, you know, uh, to, to be listed. Mm -hmm. all right the next one okay the next one yes next one is my favorite part <laughs> so we yes we promised a uh, long time ago right so there, there will be a lot of uh, new customers new blood in our community right so we'll be uh we'll be uh, uh producing a lot of news a lot of updates a lot of pr uh in the space we are in preparation so we're in preparation so what you're going to see next few weeks uh, we will see some press releases. You're going to see some YouTube videos. Uh, you're going to see some nice announcements, of course, on Telegram, on Twitter, in, in multiple communities, uh, in multiple languages. Uh, so we are doing everything we can. Now it's early stage of DAISY project. We are not launched yet officially, right? The DCO pro platform is not launched. Uh, it will be easier for us to create this kind of noise uh, uh, on a media site once we are launched, right? But before we launched, of course, we are also now in preparation and uh, uh, we will be uh, doing this massive uh, PR campaign uh, in the next couple of months. And of course, we will continue to do it next year and, uh, you know, and so on. So it's a very important part for us. Uh, and uh, when we do this, uh, please make sure that you will share those links Share those videos with all your friends, all your families, you know, all your community, all your customers, because it's important to spread the word about Daisy, uh, about the value of the platform, uh, about uh, our uh, disruptive model, uh, and uh, so that more and more people in the world will speak about Daisy. It's very, very important for us to spread the word about the project. Alex? Right. And the next one. Oh, this is... This is... Yeah. This is perhaps one of the juiciest parts. Uh, the thing that we've promised a long time ago, 
and uh, we finally made it. We waited specifically for this event to announce it. We've uh, burned the tokens. So a long time ago, uh, we have promised that uh, everything that we do not sell, it's not going to go uh, on the open market. It's not going to start circulating there and affecting a price. We're just going to get rid of it because that's the honest thing to do, right? There is a demand, right? We just adjusted to that demand perfectly and we don't need uh, something extra on top of it. So that's the amount that we promised to burn. We're going to share details, tech, tech details, the link uh, for it uh, to everyone. Everyone can see it, make sure it's being done proper. Uh, yes, I believe, we, uh, we, yes. We, yeah, I believe we will post it on Twitter, on the Telegram, uh, after the Zoom with a link so everybody can check it on the blockchain side if, if you guys take, if you want to ch check you know, specific uh, transaction ID, uh, et cetera, so you'll be able to see it. This is very important for us. This is what we promised, right, Jeremy? Uh, many, many times we've been uh, talking about the uh, burning mechanism of DAISY. This is just the beginning. So we plan, as Jeremy explained many, many times, we, we only plan to do the burning uh, as we grow uh, many, many times in the future because it's deflationary model and we want to reduce supply of DAISY token in the future. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love all absolutely. of the burn mechanisms, Alex, that, that you guys uh, have put into the, the whole process. I mean, at every corner of the ecosystem, uh, there's burning, there's burning, there's burning. So uh, this is this is great news. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, Alex, thank you so much. So this is it, right? So this is a, this is the last yep. uh, slide. Yes. So uh, we didn't want to make it too detailed or too complicated for today because our main uh, main purpose of the call uh, is our first DCO project. And I would like to introduce uh, the founder of the project, uh, Joel Diaz. Please welcome Joel. Uh, we met, as Jeremy mentioned, we met Joel uh, in uh, June on a digital summit before. We also met him in person uh, in Dubai before. And we absolutely love, uh, Joel, what you together with your team, with uh, Nazar, with Stan, we, uh, I know uh, the guys also joining the call. Uh, today, uh, what uh, what you're doing with uh, with your concept of art wallet? So it's an uh, absolute privilege for us to have you on the call with us. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Joel is one of the founding members of uh, MetaMask. Everybody knows MetaMask. Uh, so of course, Joel is very uh, well known uh, person in the crypto space. Uh, so uh, Joel, uh, it's all yours. Please, uh, uh, we would love to listen about our first DCO project. Well. Well, yeah, what I would love to talk about first is how much I like Daisy, you know, and uh, the project you guys have going. I mean, it's really cool. Um, I've been passionate about kind of the community elements before and, you know, reaching a global audience and, you know, the kind of crowdfunding and enablement there. In fact, uh, many years ago, we had a kind of D a DCO project um, that was actually named uh, based on the legal structure because I was um, organized the summit. Um, at MIT and, and Harvard um, on legal structures around blockchain. This was, you know, many years ago, when, you know, early 2015 um, to figure out what was possible to do. And we figured out different ways to kind of enable crowdfunding and governance. So, you know, sometimes it takes a while for everything to catch up and fall into place, but I, you know, I couldn't be happier to be working with you guys. Right. No, um, sorry, Joel. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Jeremy, can you make Stan co-host? He's asking now. Yep. Yeah, uh, do it now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So yeah, I'll, I'll tell a little bit of the story, you know, behind Art Wallet, which in, in some ways is similar to the story behind MetaMask, because um, you know when Ethereum DevCon Zero happened, which was quite a long time ago now, um, you know the Ethereum community was very focused on building. Um, pieces of software that you download and you install and it had a lot of, you know, details associated with it. Um, and you kind of had to understand how it all worked and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it was just not that accessible. And I thought, you know, the way that things are going to become more accessible is through web browser because everyone uses web browsers. It's not that hard to build the right kind of JavaScript integrations to make it so that you can, you know, build dApps and infrastructure in that would work in a web browser. But that was a very unusual thought um, at that particular time. Um, and I was the one, you know, who kind of got off the ground and got the initial financing and kind of got the team together behind that project. Um, and, 
in a similar way today, you know, I kind of try to stay aware of everything that's going on in this industry as much as possible. Um, you know, I was a computer programmer when I was young and won kind of different awards and things like that. And then founded, you know, Ethereum, well, founded, but I was you know, on the Ethereum team from, you know, day one, basically one of the kind of very early, um, you know, active participants in Ethereum. Um, and also did some of the early work around crypto economics. And, you know, now I'm doing some stuff at MIT and kind of a little bit on the research stuff. Um, which is also what's bringing me to Russia this week because after I'm doing some stuff at Skolkova as well. Um, and oh, really yes. the, um, the whole kind of background there is, you know, I'm passionate about blockchain stuff, but also the things that cross over from blockchain and create the best, you know, artistic experiences and kind of immersive experiences. So however that exists, and I worked on that in some ways in parallel to doing things in blockchain for many years before NFTs were a big thing. So, you know, I made one of the first um, virtual reality apps on the Steam store. I make, you know, virtual, you know, large projections and bring this pyramid to Burning Man every year that, you know, displays this art and produce kind of art myself. Um, in fact, if you want to go to cryptoapollo.io, it has a list of maybe 20 different, you know, art projects that I personally commissioned or been involved with. Um, including this other stuff, which is, you know, some of the biggest projection um, dome type technology and um, the projections that happen on. So all of that is, you know, very, very interesting, I think, um, to uh, this audience. And, um, and I think basically bridges into the world of NFTs as they're evolving, and, you know, to some degree, I think it started by looking at a sort of five year time frame or 10 year time frame of what needs to evolve from an NFT infrastructure to be there and, and also taking advantage of everything that exists today. Um, but, you know, there are a lot of things that don't exist. So, I mean, you can see here that the, the market is booming. It's increased a lot recently, um, you know, starting with the crypto kitties and crypto punks and, you know, people and top shots and different things are branching out, um, including another agency that I'm involved in that did the top sale on OpenSea recently for athlete, which was $17 million in kind of primary and secondary sales uh, behind Mike Tyson, who's someone we kind of represent. So we have like a whole portfolio of kind of top artists and, you know, celebrities to kind of bring into this. Um, so, but yeah, looking forward to the kind of metaverse as a kind of concept. I mean, there's a huge kind of gaps, you know, that exist. And this is basically what made me really want to start this project. And I was really thankful to kind of meet the uh, Hagen team and different people through that world that were similarly passionate. But uh, one of the problems I, I reached, you know, even early on in, in the Ethereum world is I was really excited, you know, about the whole universe and, you know, multiple chains, multiple coins. It didn't matter to me as long as it provides some functionality. Um, and, you know, the larger, you know, connective tissue behind all of these things. So, and if you really look at it systematically, you just find that there's a lot of pieces that are missing um, today. And, um, you know, from my standpoint, it seems like kind of the wallet side is the best way to provide some of those core infrastructure pieces, uh, many of which, you know, allow, you know, both more asset classes and kind of larger onboarding of like larger ticket items. So some of the things that we're delivering right now, you know, are really focused on really a very traditional, well, it's become traditional, let's say in the last 10 years, business model around art distribution and particularly music distribution, where you buy the content and then you listen to it. And you say more thing with videos, you can say the same thing about OnlyFans, you know, a lot of people, they want you to buy the thing and then you watch it. And that's not what's going on right now in NFT, but there's some flavors of that that are kind of doing it. And that itself, you know, is a, you know, multi-billion dollar, you know, marketplace that goes beyond most of what you think of as entertainment. And so we're building the infrastructure that lets that be very simple um, and, um, and do the kind of streaming and, and owning the content, as well as some other things that you can do that are unique to NFTs. So um, on the next slide, um, you can see that, you know, well, there's a few things that we're doing that basically haven't been done before. Um, I'm getting to kind of a bunch of them because there's, like I said, in this list we came up with, there's maybe 10 features that I thought needed to exist to support some of these things and, and really 
you know, no other wallet really has even 20% of what would need be needed. So I think we probably, you know, will be the core solution for these things as they, you know, exist and evolve. Um, so yeah, go, go back. Um, so yeah, the, this includes the security stuff, but then, you know, similar to what I said before, this kind of native cross-chain support is a very important concept because we're convinced in a kind of multi-chain vision and want to make that kind of, you know, accessible to people. And from my experience as well, using many different wallets, that's still something that is not um, really that well built into much of the existing wallet infrastructure. Um, yeah, next slide. Yeah, next slide. So yeah, there's a, a few things that are like really critical, I think, especially as we've looked at the um, fine art kind of side of things. But the, you know, one of them is that basically people who are doing large ticket items, they need certain types of things from the traditional fine art industry. Um, and uh, they're really focused on the, the best experiences possible, a lot of them, especially the people we enjoy working with. So they needed to integrate with hardware that exists, you know, the highest end display, the highest end projections, kind of things like that. Um, so we're really focused on that kind of delivery angle, um, as well as the fact that, you know, for people who are in the insurance angle, making sure the data persists making sure that whoever buys it is going to have perpetual access to that material, um, at which, you know, sometimes can be quite a lot of um, a file um, overload, you know, depending on the, the nature of the media. So really guaranteeing that um, for the customer. Um, and one kind of added benefit we get from that as, and, you know, this isn't necessarily an immediate thing, but it's a really important thing to understand the tokenomics and, and the particular token that we're doing is with an NFT model behind these things, you can do some extra cool things that you can never do before. So if you're buying something on iTunes, you know, whatever you want, listen to the music, you own it. But if you're buying a limited edition NFT and there's only so many of them, but then other people want to come and consume the content, you can rent or lease that thing. You can, same thing applies for things that would go in art galleries and physical spaces that if someone wants to view it and, and museums do this all the time. I mean, they basically lend, borrow from private collections. Um, you know, they're used to this sort of thing. And this is basically allowing a much more streamlined uh, way of doing that. And of course you would only be able to do so in our kind of token. So that would be, you would be, paying for that in the token that we provide and that you would you would have some of, of as well. Uh, next slide. So kind of in this um, features, we, you know, have some of the basic things that you would expect, you know, from a kind of wallet infrastructure, um, uh, including, you know, special visualizations of um, NFTs, some of them go to kind of some of the early artists that we started to onboard, you know, that are doing metaverse specific things and AR, VR, virtual reality experiences. So we want to make sure that what they're doing is accurately and beautifully reflected in the context of the app. Um, uh, as well as, you know, the streaming and um, kind of access rights. One of the features that's particularly excited about, you know, when this comes to the play to earn games and the gaming space as it evolves and being able to kind of manage um, new types of gaming assets and display them well, um, because in many of these things, you know, the data side, even just being able to visualize your NFT portfolio um, is often kind of neglected. Um, so really our, you know, we're doing some kind of initial launches kind of under the time frame of this kind of IDO when it comes to the hardware and visualization side, but our core product MVP is um, going to be released in December. Um, and then, you know, we're going to, we have a lot of features in the pipeline. A lot of it really depends on our partners, you know, as we kind of look at the next features to kind of prioritize um, and, uh, and bring to market. So in that sense, everyone who's on this call is a sort of partner of ours. Um, and we really welcome you to participate in our Telegram community and let us know what features, you know, you would like to see and, you know, artists and kind of all the things. Um, we're actually um, hiring right at this moment, too, for a kind of um, metaverse business developer to kind of 
basically go into all these universes and metaverses that exist and kind of get an understanding for what specific features would be useful in a wallet so we can structure the prioritization. But so, you know, many of these things are, are clearly on our roadmap when it comes to, you know, these AR, VR experiences, um, the really high end of the quality and our, our partners are already doing some of those things. And we already have a number of kind of joint ventures set up to, to do those. Um, so yeah, there's some um, tokenomics here. Uh, Nazar, do you want to jump in and talk about this? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, Nazar is here. So yeah, basically like a few months ago, we started together with Joel this, uh, our challenge. Yes, yeah, so this uh, art, wall art wallet project as well as Stan who joined us like soon, like few few weeks after. So basically three of us are in charge of this. So yeah, we have like uh, all the model, all the model of the art wallet. So it's based around this cooperation between artists, between like uh, game, like game players, between like consumers, users and so on. And the, the heart of the system is of course the one art token. Yes, who like make the most utility on this uh, whole art wallet ecosystem. Because like we are like looking as, uh, as Joel said before, so we're looking forward and we see like the next like big hype which, which is coming is about the metaverse. Yes, and we are now more thinking about the way of gaming, like trading some virtual assets and storing as well. So basically, yeah, it's like one of the main priorities in focus right now. So and all the utility of one R token. So it's like surrounded around this uh, infrastructure of uh, of NFT assets. Yes, that will be like traded both in this, not only like in the art industry, which is started from, yes, like uh, big success stories with crypto banks, NBA, Top Shot and so on. So, but we are looking forward and looking forward to the old metaverse infrastructure. Yes, and uh, all this one art stuff, one art token will be structured around these virtual assets, NFTs and so on. So it will be used for stakings, a lot of different stakings uh, for getting access to the exclusive content. If we talk about the artists, so with uh, creating, trading, minting of the NFTs, and of course, audiovisual streaming that's, uh, uh, that will come soon in the second version of the art wallet. So it's really missing part of the market. So uh, one moment. Yeah, so talking about the econ uh, tokenomics, uh, as you see, uh, it's not officially announced yet on our channels, but it will be announced soon. Uh, we are adding a big DAISY round for 1 million USD. It will be the huge, yes, basically huge public rounds, one of the biggest in this industries, yes, because currently uh, no other platforms can provide such big amount of uh, tokens to be released for the public. And uh, we are like closing all our private rounds. So it's our, they're totally oversubscribed, yes, but we are like some have some allocation reserved for big partners who are coming, like uh, who probably will come like in the next a uh, few weeks when we announced the idea of the date about October 19th. So we expect like a lot of new partnerships to, to come. Uh, so yeah, we are focusing on integration with NFT marketplaces, with uh, NFT games, yes, for the old metaverse infrastructure for storing the virtual assets and the NFTs and so on. Uh, partnership with uh, basically artists, like big artists, celebrities, agencies who focus on this NFT audio visual streaming, like NFT purchasing and so on, storing of the NFTs and of course lending protocol, insurance and all other stuff, all their stuff, which is our pump, uh, pipeline. So yeah, this is like the basic tokenomics and it will be announced soon on our official Telegram, Twitter channels. And uh, you'll be able all to participate in the daisy round. So maybe I, I expect that it will be announced like maybe on Monday officially. So you'll have a lot of additional information how to participate from DAISY team. Yes, and uh, we're happy to have you on board. So we have really like team uh, that's growing like really fast. And the, the core team was a huge experience in crypto starting from Joel, me and Stan who are like more than 10 years, uh, like five, 10 years in crypto area. So working with uh, big project Haken, yes, supported by the Haken Foundation, uh, having our own development team that's growing like every day. So some people adding 
So basically, we have like a big vision. We have the capabilities. So and basically, we'll definitely deliver what we promise, and uh, we'll we'll believe will like play play a huge role in the market. So yeah, just we have a few a slide about the Hacken. So it's initially started by the Hacken Foundation and supported with all its community. So like which is around eighty thousand. So all around the all around this Hacken's products that, that were launched, and we have with Hacken so a lot of like partnerships, corporate client. They provide like a lot of audit services. So it's all is used by Art Wallet. So and we are happy to work with Hack with Hacken and be supported. So yeah, it's basically the presentation of the art wallet. So thank you, Joel. Thank you, team. So and we'll be happy to answer the question if, if any. So yeah, thank you so much for this for your time. So and hope you'll enjoy the next like the next few weeks, even one month, yeah, before the IDO and it happened really smooth and uh, like beneficiary for, for all of us. Yeah, Nazar, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much for your information, Joel. Thank you so much. I'm pretty sure uh, in our community, there are a lot of people who have interest uh, in NFT. I know Jeremy has very big passion to NFT and uh, maybe he can share something from his end. But what I wanted to uh, like kind of, you know, listening to your story and to your presentation, uh, what I wanted to stress is uh, we are really proud as a DAISY platform to have you guys with us as a first DCO project. It's very important for us to know who is behind the project. It's very important for us to know who is a founder of the project, right? So where you guys coming from, what is your purpose, uh, what problems uh, you solving. So in the future, we will be also selecting uh, projects. We will be partnering with projects with very, very clear history, uh, very nice background, and uh, you know, so that uh, we will be able to provide maximum information to our community. Uh, uh, Art Wallet, uh, in my opinion, is absolutely brilliant project. So it's like one one stop shop for NFT uh, market, right? So uh, I personally look forward to you know downloading this uh, app and using this wallet uh, myself in the future. Maybe Jeremy, maybe you can share something from your side because we've been talking about NFT for quite a long, right? So I know you have big passion uh, towards NFT, uh, and maybe you have some questions to the guys also. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I. I, I have a passion for anything that anytime I see real powerful use case for all things blockchain, uh, it's exciting. And I think, you know, as we've said many times, the, the NFT world is just getting started and it's going to be one of the uh, largest relevant real world use cases uh, for, uh, for all things blockchain. And uh, so, so we're, we're excited about that. And one of the commitments we've always made to the community is uh, together, we're going we're gonna to attract pioneering projects, right? Day Daisy really is a pioneering community. Uh, that's, you know, really what we've done. We've pioneered industries. We've pioneered technologies as a community. And we will continue to be a part of pioneering projects, projects that are on the front end of what's coming next, right? The front end of trends, uh, the front end of emerging markets, the, you know, the front end of brilliant development teams that haven't been discovered yet, uh, you know, with NFTs, you know, artists that are really pioneering a new way of distribution uh, of art. And uh, it's just, it's, it's, you know, this is a great example of a project that is in front of the next big thing connected to a team like uh, we have with, uh, with Joel and uh, uh, with, with Nazar and with Stan. I mean, these are legends in the space, right, who have pioneered, you know, for example, guys, MetaMask, you know, became the foundation of making uh, tokens and ecosystems usable by the masses without having to understand or learn certain elements of technology and uh, making it user friendly. And that's where the market is going. And so this project is a perfect example of a pioneering team, a pioneering project and a very exclusive opportunity for the DAISY members to be a part of something that is going uh, to, to, to really 
uh, usher in another era and another uh, vertical, if you will, for the entire crypto community. So Ilya, it's it's exciting. Yeah, and Joel me. and Stan and, and Nazar, thank you guys so much for being here today and and for uh, and allowing the Daisy community to be a part of this project. Yes, before it goes public, which is so important, right, Jeremy? Because the guys they made uh, you know a few rounds. Uh, they they're gonna make a few rounds, right? And then then it's gonna be uh, Daisy. It's like a private sale, right? And then they will go public. So it's very very good timing for our community uh, to kind of you know. Uh, come here and uh, grab this opportunity and you know to to get some tokens uh uh, uh of uh, of the art wallet uh, uh so uh Jim, if you don't have any questions from your side to to the guys so maybe uh edward maybe you also have some comments from you and because we, we didn't we didn't hear nothing from yourself <laughs> today i know you're also uh very excited about the first project i know we're going to meet very soon in dubai and uh, you know, and uh, share uh, more information about the platform and the rewards plan and all the upcoming plans for for the platform. But uh, what is uh, what is your uh, feeling? What is your you know like uh, ideas about the platform itself and about the first project uh, that fi finally you know we we are able to release today officially that we partnered with our wallet. We've been working like for for a few weeks already, but we kind of kept it secret. <laughs> Well, there's a there's a two two part of excitement. First, it's our first first our ideal, right? And uh, Joel is very known person in this uh, industry. Um, it's it's really it feels comfortable and exciting to be first participating with them, right? And the second is a uh, Daisy platform is Daisy talking is all about this new projects, right? So we 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 pre-launching we don't have any projects yet this is our first project this is the whole point and the purpose of our talking right imagine uh this is one of your portfolio right imagine uh in in a year you have 20 different uh uh projects you're holding tokens uh, i'm about building portfolios and not just buying something I, I want something like art wallet. I know there's a limited tokens. There's only 1 million. If I was able, actually, honestly, if I was able to, if given an opportunity to take it, I would take it all of it myself, right? But we have a community. So community is first, excited, looking forward, uh, looking forward uh, again to meet all of you guys in Dubai. Dubai is going to be dead. It's going to be epic. It's <laughs> going to be, guys, if you've been at any, any meetings, any events in your life, this event, I guarantee you, you never participate in anything. What are we going to announce? What's going to happen the way? And this is why we're making only for leaders. So if you are not a pay setter, first thing you should do, reach out to your pay setter, make sure you're close to it to get that information from them because this is going to be something truly can change your life R really quick i got it i got a message yesterday from a very close friend who's also a pay setter and he's asking hey uh is there any other projects you can recommend to join or something and i go like what are you talking about that's what daisy talking is daisy talking is about diversify different projects that is not daisy but different projects like like i told him just wait till tomorrow to uh tomorrow we're gonna announce our first um you know idea so there we go we got uh our first art wallet excited and uh again i want to thank uh joel nazar stan and uh and of course alex and uh yuri who actually was the key to connect us with this uh with this project yeah absolutely absolutely it's all about building the portfolio and it's all about again and again we keep talking about this it's all about long-term vision so we're not community of flippers and this is why i believe we're going to be loved by uh multiple projects right because we can we can uh we can deliver the value of the project right so we can can uh we can explain all the all the you know fundamentals of the project and we can explain to people and our community really appreciates uh the long-term vision of, of the project right so uh and uh jeremy i absolutely agree with you uh, about uh pioneering the space you know i also love uh to be pioneering a space doing something that has never been done before i absolutely agree that we will continue to onboard many many projects that are doing something very disruptive 
that has never been done before and making people's life much easier and better. This is what it's all about, right? In the space, uh, in, a, in a blockchain space, in a crypto space, and we'll have many businesses coming from traditional space into blockchain space again, right? So pioneering the space with a, uh, you know, some disruptive model uh, related to traditional businesses. So it's all coming. Uh, we have many plans for the future. Uh, but for now, guys, I'm absolutely humbled and thrilled about the uh, this first DCO project. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Nazar. Thank you, Stan. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, and uh, I think it's good timing for us to wrap it up. <laughs> so it's been a lot of information and a lot of excitement. We're going we're gonna to release uh, all news uh, and updates, of course, on Twitter, on Telegram, on YouTube uh, later today. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. See you guys. See you guys soon. See you all the way setters. See you in Dubai. <laughs> so uh, we talk soon. We connect soon. Thank you.